the seat of King Alfred's power, where hawk shit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their guard's house. This must be the house of their timid guard. They built him a rich dwelling. Even the mighty A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It is you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do, but I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Bathed in the river, so a gentle wash brings them closer to their guard. He rose from the dead, a nice trick and not easily done. Their guard brings them light, just as Balder does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. Whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that your God fears death, just as mine do, just as every man does. Yet through our Lord, we may achieve life everlasting in his glorious presence. Perhaps you missed that detail. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. 
Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke is a member of the Order as well. Hmm. The wolves biting at my skirts grow craftier by the day. How much do you know of this order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your guard. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. If I made it easy for them, they might even return Sigurd to me. I would return him to you myself, if I knew where they were holding him. But Fulke's treachery has blindsided me as well. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust. Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, great king, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. on him arresting Goodwin gone, and guards sniffing around. So where could they have taken him? Papers thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, while the guards destroying evidence. food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. 
A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Someone disagrees with Alfred, educating the people of Winchester. You are a thief and a fiddler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! attention here. I am looking for the reed. Selvin? That bastard said I stole an apple. You will see me hang for it. Not Selwyn. Reed Goodwin was arrested not long ago. Alfred's man? Arrested? Now that's as funny as a dose of the pox. Seems no one is free in Winchester. Prisoners might know something.
ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. 
and this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. Winchester mourns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. May he find his peace with God.